Cubics Cubes with 3J channel. This is 3J and I am going to teach you how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube in beginner method. Let's get started by solving it and you could see my algorithms in the description below. Let's solve it and this is a beginner method so i'm using a budget queue for the beginner method i am also going to create an advanced method and that i'm going to in the advanced method i'm going to use a speed cube let's get started but before that let, let's learn the moves when i say r you have to turn right this when i say r prime you have to turn right anti-clockwise like this when I say L, you have to turn left clockwise like this. When I say L prime, you have to turn left clockwise like this. When I say U, you have to turn up like this. When I say U prime, you have to turn up anti clockwise like this. When I say F, you have to turn front like this. When I say F prime, you have to turn front anti clockwise like this. When I say B, you have to turn back like this, clockwise. When I say B counterclock or prime, okay, you have to turn B anticlockwise like this. When I say D, you have to turn down like this. When I say D prime, you have to turn down the anticlockwise like this. Now, I taught you all the moves. Now, you know all the moves. Now, let's get started by mix. First, you have to mix the I have mixed it up now let's get started by solving it so first we have to start with the centers these are the centers these one two three four one two three four all of them so first for the first center it will be easy so what you have to do is make a bar white bar like this in the centers only and we, we have to make another bar. If it's straight from each other, we'll turn this side. Then we'll connect these two. Then when we make two bars, we'll join them each to each other. Then they made a white, we finished the white center. Now what you have to do is solve for the yellow center. So I'll just make one yellow bar over here. And one yellow is on the top. So what I'll do is turn the yellow so it could match like this this line let's make this as a line and they should be matching with each other when they're matching you have to turn these two layers right and up two times then put these back down and now this is that including this now for the last one you have to turn and do you see these two bars and one of over here? You have to turn those up and they should be this should make a bar. In case if it's like this, when you turn it up, it's diagonal from each other. It'll not work. So you'll turn and it it should make a bar. And then you'll turn up anti-clockwise, then turn it back down. Then we finish the yellow center and the white center is still. Now what you have to do is make a blue two blue bars. It will not mess up the yellow and white center because it's this yellow and white center are opposites from each other. So it should be here and here. And the blue is in this whole layer. So it will not mess it up. So I will just turn it to make another bar. I made two bars of a blue. Now I'll turn this upwards and turn this two times so I can make the blue center. 
Now the year, when we see the year, when it's a yellow on top, the blue and the right should be red. So we'll turn it and this should be the red. Don't make a bar because the blue is there. Because if you mess the blue up, then you can make the centers. We already see a bar here. So what we'll do is do the same but in the left side. Make it on the left side, get these two layers up. Turn up two times. Put these layers back down. And then it's here. And when you see the other piece is in the bottom opposite. What you'll do is turn up two times this time and make sure it's a bar and turn up then put back two times so it could come and blue opposite should be green so green is on this side so what we'll do it's diagonal from each other both of them so what we'll do is we'll take these two layers so they could match a bar then up then we turn it back down then they have this kind of things now we'll turn the same we have to do the same thing turn this piece up in the two bar and then mix a bar turn it up then put it back down and we noticed it already made this one also and we finish with all our centers next step is to solve all the edges example is the one edges or two edges are already solved for me this one and this one and this one so you have to solve these in all the sides how to do so what you have to do is there's two edge pieces in a four by four that's true right so what you have to do is find the other one one is over here and the one I'm going to go to green orange, so I'll do this one and this one is over here. So, what I'll do when it's over here and when it's over here, I'll just move it up and then you notice they're diagonal from each other. Then, what we'll do is slice them so they could be a bar. And we noticed it messed up our centers, but don't worry, we'll fix it later. Now, let's focus on the edges. And then we'll move this up upwards then we get move up so we get another broken edge piece back down then we fix our centers then we have an edge piece over here that is finished then what we have to do is do the same thing for other edge pieces like I found yellow orange yellow orange down here but when it's like this when it's uh, um close to each other like in the line when it's straight from each other orange yellow orange yellow make sure these has to face up not down over here and then do this one r f prime up u f now they're diagonal from each other then do the same thing slice them bring them up get another broken piece edge piece down then fix our centers now we have to search for another one i found two that are straight from each other and you have to do that same move r f prime u f then the diagonal from each other what you have to do is slice them but what happened uh, there's nothing in the top that is unsliced all are sliced already so what you'll do is fix our centers first then rotate it to the other side Ro we'll flip it now th we notice that there are this will be our top and we notice there are some broken pieces so we'll just slice them bring them up bring two times so this broken piece could go down then we'll fix our centers then 
So I have to do again, do it again, or if you say straight from each other, do this move, or F5, U, F, and you see the diagonal from each other, and then do this move, you have to do the slice thing, and bring them up, and notice there are no things, so what we'll do is bring a fixed edge piece up. Bring this broken piece down. And this will come with it. And then we'll slice it. Then we... Then we have this sort. So we'll flip it and we have one edge piece unbroken. But what if it's... We have, we have to find another one. Found one. So I'll rotate it. Then I'll just do this. But what if there's nothing over here? And there's something over here. I'll just do that in smooth. And then there it is. Then what you have to do is R F prime U F then the diagonal from each other and you notice what if it's like this there are nothing in the top there's nothing and when you look there's no un un slices so what we'll do we're looking for these two but there's one more other unsliced piece which is here so what we'll do is bring this one up by doing a back move like this. Now this is up. Then we'll slice it. Bring it up. Bring this broken piece down. And fix it. And we notice there's some. But in some cases you might get cases like this. We get some cases like this. They are straight from each other. The, the last two pieces are straight from each other. This move, you have to take the first two down layers and turn them down. Then R, F prime, up, right prime, F. Then take these two layers, down, counterclockwise down. And then our edges are solved the third step is to solve for the white cross and f12 so what we'll do is do for the white cross many of you know it but if you don't know just call to me and they have to be matching from each other and i see a white and red piece so i'll turn this to the red side and then I'll bring this up two times. Then this blue opposite should be green. So I'll, this should be green. So I'll move this uh, green, white and green up. Then fix these things. And the green is in the green side. And then lastly, when it's in, I'll just. Now our white is gone. Now we have to solve for F12. Now what you have to do is find an edge piece on the top without any yellow in them. Like this one, this has yellow so this can be the correct one. This could be because it has a blue and orange. So what we will do is move the uh, color facing us to that side. Like my, now my blue is facing to me so I will move it to the blue side and now the orange is in this side because orange is top orange is in the left so when it's in the left do this move we have to make we could make it here put it here but the cross might get damaged so what you have to do is this move f prime l f l prime then what you see it is the Orange and blue is here, especially the white cross is there. 
Now what you have to do is get a white, orange and blue corner piece. And it's on here. And when it's facing, and we have the white is facing the right side, what you have to do is do this move. Take the, th the first three layers and move them clockwise. R prime, up, right, up, up, right prime, up, right now what what that did is it put the uh, white orange blue corner piece into the one, correct spot now correct position also i already see another um fixed uh, edge piece which is in the correct spot already now i find it i found the corner piece and now the white is facing us on the top layer. What when the white is facing us on the top layer, you have to do this move. Up prime, right, up prime, right prime, up, up, right, up prime, right prime. And what that did is the same thing as the last one. Put the um, corner piece in the correct position. Yes. Now what you have to do is find another one and the same thing and then do that move and when it's facing that do the same thing same move less that time and then uh, solve then last one you have to do that edge move one in the right this time like this then we find the corner piece and the white is in the top facing on the top layer when it's not when the white side is color is facing in the top in the top side you have to do this move r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r u r prime but that is the same thing and then we notice that the white side is solved. And you notice something like this is coming. Now, what you have to do, step 3 is to solve the yellow. And then when you have this thing, you have to do the same thing as the 3 by 3 Rubik's cube. It should be facing like this. Then do F, U, R, A prime, right prime, F prime. And it's solved. But when it's like this, when it's straight from each other, I I have some other thing, other tricks that are in the description below. Also, there are some other things in the white in the third step, which um, whether it could be. If the white is in the bottom and facing that side, I write it in the I'll write in the description below. And one more thing, when the white is facing us in the bottom side, I'll write in the description below that algorithm. And I'm gonna write uh, when it's straight like this, the yellow is straight. I'll write it in the description below. And when it's like this, and one more yellow is over here, it's a kind of a long move. I'll write it in the description below. But when it's like this, F, U, R, up prime, up prime, right prime, F prime. Now, when it's like this, what you have to do is this move. R, U, R prime, U, R, U, U, R prime. And then, uh, we have to put the, the two yellows in the correct, it has to be in the correct side like that so we have to do that move here we'll try it here r u r prime u r u u r prime and it the what, yellow crosses that and what you have to do is put the yeah the yellow in the left facing us let's move again then the when it's like this the 
the one with the extra yellow has to be facing the left and do this move again and then it's there it's solved you keep on doing this until it's solved when the yellow is solved you will go into the next move next one is to solve for the whole Rubik's cube first we need to solve for the corners all the corners it's like a three by three only we have we have there's two blue corners so i'll put it in the back and do this no, algorithm r prime f r prime b b r f prime r prime b b r r a prime and usually it's all but you might get some cases like this For me, it's, it might, two might be solved and then these two will not be solved. What you have to do is take one of these two and piece solved facing you and then the solved uh, pieces facing the left and right directions and do this move. These two up layers two times. These two right layers two times. This up two times middle right layer two times up two times these two right layers two times and then these two up layers two times then you might notice it's all you might get some cases like this where it is one is solved and then it's counterclockwise what you have to do is f f up prime L R prime F F L prime R U prime F F then it's solved. You might get some cases like this also. Where one is solved and it's going in clockwise direction. The green is going here, red is going here, orange is going here. What did this move is F, F, up, L, R prime, F, F, L prime, R, U, F, F. And then it's on. Then you might get uh, some cases like all are opposite from each other. And then you have to do the Q these two layers two times or two times this up two times same thing same layer might get like this this red has to go here orange has to go here the same thing you do the same move as we did in the this move we have to do and then it will be solved now 